website. And some, some Pastor Mike, I get it. I get it. Take a look at the picture, okay? What is our one demand? Okay? A woman riding a beast. Imagine that. A spirit. Now, what does this woman have to do with anything? She's like Mystery of Babylon, right? Yeah, let's look at it. Revelation 17, 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Revelation 17, verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication and upon her name revelation 17 verse 5 and upon her forehead was a name written mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth so you see that she is the one who is who is riding the beast the beast carries her brings her in okay but then, in Revelation chapter 18, we see the downfall of Babylon. And I want you to notice what's being said here. Revelation 18, 2, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication uh, with her. And here it is, right here, watch this. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of of her delicacies. In fact, when you go through, and I, I want to encourage you to do this, when you go through and read Revelation chapter 18, you'll see that who is it that is bewailing and bemoaning the destruction of Babylon? It's all the merchants because they were being made rich by her. Now keep this in mind. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all evil. But the, see, I have like, I don't know, like $4 in my wallet, okay? That is not evil. Although that little all-seeing eye thing kind of bothers me a little bit. But anyway, we need money. Okay, we need money to, to buy food. We need money to buy raiment. We need money to, to pay some of our bills. I mean, we, we need a little bit of money. And, and I can tell you this, as, a, as one who has experienced this firsthand, you can, as an American, get by with a lot less money than what you think you can. It can be done. People do it every day. And I will tell you that we may come to a situation in this country, maybe very soon, where we will be forced to, to live on nothing but a few dollars and the grace of Almighty God. You see, there, there are a lot of people out there that are really, really... L let me get to the gist of this woman riding the beast, okay? Um, there are a few people, as I pointed out a while ago, there are a few people who want to make all the money, okay? And if you're a small businessman, this is what Barack Hussein said to Joe the plumber, who I think I heard is running for some kind of office or something like that. He said, I believe when we spread the money around, it, it helps everybody. No, it doesn't, doesn't help this guy. Okay, this guy has went out and worked his guts off and, and invested all of his hard-earned labor into equipment and building a business. And he has the liability that goes with it and everything. And it could go wrong just like that. And he could lose everything. And yet, if you take that away from him, you're taking away this man's livelihood. I do not believe in socialism, communism, Marxism, or anything that smells like it. I don't believe in it. I think it's unbiblical to do that. I, that's what I think. Okay? But so is greed and covetousness. Okay? Greed and covetousness. Do the corporations of this world make too much money? Yes. Do they do it in an in a evil way? Absolutely. But letting Babylon come in and fix the problem is not the solution. Let God fix the problem and God will. God knows how to bless in just the right way. God knows how to give in just the right way. And I can tell you that in the day when Jesus returns and sits on his glorious throne in Jerusalem and reigns for 1,000 years. I, I, I'm going to make a prediction now. 
the people of the earth will not be carrying around one dollar bills with the all seeing eye on the capstone in their wallet Okay. I think it's going to be a time where people are going to go to sleep with a full belly even the poorest of people because Jesus loves poor people Okay. and what I'm saying is this the love of money is the root of all evil and what this whole what all this all the banking troubles all the nations that are going bad all, all the debt all of the crises all the protest protest wall street now that it's all a spiritual thing it's contrived it's an effort to take everybody that's making money right now and consolidate that down to just a few. I mean, think it. Look, look at the look at the pyramid. Okay, the pyramid. I mean, it starts out real good down here, but as everything is funneled upward, it just narrows itself down to just a very, 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 very few people. That's what that is all about. Mystery Babylon, making a few people rich. Okay, this is why they bemoan her. This is why some people who fall into such debt that they can't pay it off, they kill themselves. They don't want to live in debt. They don't want to live without all their money and with all their stuff. What a sad life. What a sad, sad life. I'd rather have nothing and have salvation. What shall a profit of a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What shall it profit that man? Good to be with you this week. Hope you've enjoyed the Watchman video broadcast. We do this, we try to do this each and every week, and you can watch them on WatchmanVideoBroadcast.com. Once a week, we do a Bible study. We're in the book of Revelation. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is just study the entire Bible through the eyes of one book. We're doing that in, the, in our study of the book of Revelation. You can find that at PureBibleStudy.com uh, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Central Time. We have the Pastor Mike online live broadcast. It is live and interactive. You can chat with me and send me questions and comments and things like that and we have a lot of fun on that. Anyway, that is on PastorMikeOnline.com. You can watch us on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Central, Sunday morning, Sunday night. The times are on our website at visitbethelchurch.com. You can watch our church services live. We're not a professional church, but we love the Lord. And you'll just see some good people uh, that want to serve the Lord. And our newest addition to the Prophetic Research Ministry family is Bible Truth Radio. 24-hour a day, 7-day a week radio broadcast featuring uh, sermons, teachings, a little bit of gospel music, other pastors that I know of and other programs that I trust will also be on this radio, uh, internet only radio station, Bible Truth Radio. The link is at visitbethelchurch.com uh, or you can download, I like this, this is why I went this way. Okay, uh, For your iPhone or iPad or your Android powered device you can download the app either Shoutcast or Winamp. And you can listen to Bible Truth Radio with your mobile device anywhere you get a signal. I like that. Okay, We look forward to bringing you more of what God shows us and God helps us with. I, I have more here that I just didn't get to today. It's about yoga. Maybe we'll talk about that next week. This is Pastor Mike. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for all your prayers and your care and your love for me in this ministry. And keep praying for our church that we'll stand only upon the words of the King James Bible. This is Pastor Mike. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye.